hello and welcome. In this video we are going to take a closer look at solid steel parametric for SOLIDWORKS. In the live demo Sumatha will build up a small steel framework for plant engineering. Alright, before we get started, a few information about solid steel parametric. I think the most important one is that solid steel parametric is integrated into SOLIDWORKS by 100%. Because it's integrated, there are no issues with the data exchange and it is very easy and very fast to learn. Another benefit is that Solid Steel Parametric is a modular software system. The base is the design package. Other modules like a stairs and handrails module or the NC data export are planned. Because there are different modules available, you can design the software solution the way you need it. Nothing more and nothing less. In summary it's a great software solution for structural steel design and you can work within the SOLIDWORKS ecosystem. But I don't want to anticipate too much. I will hand over to Samantha to give you a live demo of solid steel parametric for SOLIDWORKS. Okay, thank you Tom. Here we can see a usual SOLIDWORKS 3D sketch in the solid steel ribbon bar with all the different functions. At first I will add some profiles to our construction. Well that's it, now we are going to move on with the typical steel connections. The most easiest way to connect profiles is to cut them off. With solid steel parametric you can create simple cutting types like a miter cut within seconds. Even more complex cutting types like a cope cut is done within some seconds. The next possibility to connect profiles is to screw them together. Using the solid steel parametric function you can create the boreholes for those connection types with only a few clicks. To connect the bracing struts we are going to use classic gusset plates. To place them, select the bracing and one or two connecting profiles. Of course all the parameters of the gusset plate can be changed.
Now we want to move on with end plates. The most simplest way to place an end plate is to place it as in base plate. To do that, just select the beam. A standard end plate will be suggested automatically. Of course all the parameters of the end plate can be changed. For example the width and the offset between the portholes. If you want to reuse the designed end plate, you can store it with an individual name. If you will add an end plate in a similar geometrical situation, you can select the stored end plate from the presets. To connect two profiles with an end plate connection, just select both profiles and a suggestion for impossible end plate connection will be displayed. All the parameters can be changed here too. In solid steel parametric end plates can be placed in many different geometrical situations. To do two more examples, I am going to connect the other bracing with end plates to the columns. Alright, now we are going to add two frame corners to the construction. This process can take some seconds. All the shapes of the sheet metal parts will be calculated. The profiles will be cut off. The end plates will be placed and even the ribs will be placed in the right position. Of course ribs or stiffeners can be placed manually. To do that just select the profile. The first suggestion is to place the rib with a specific offset to the start or the end point of the beam. Another possibility is to place the rib along an existing edge in the construction. Of course all the parameters, the corner type and things like that can be changed. Now we've finished our steel construction with solid steel parametric for solid works. For a better structure in the feature manager tree we've added assemblies for welded components. This function can be disabled or enabled in the settings. So that's all with my short overview about solid steel parametric for solid works and I hand back to Tom. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. Solid Steel Parametric is really an amazing solution for structural steel design. But what about some changes in the construction? Is that also possible? Yes of course it is. Let me just change the sketch. After the automatic update from SolidWorks, the profiles followed the changes, but the connections didn't. So I just have to do in solid steel parametric update and all the changes will be done.
Okay, that's really easy. For today that's all about solid steel parametric for solid works. For more information about solid steel parametric or in life demo ask your local solid works reseller or visit our website. Thank you and see you soon.